we're all wondering what comes after humanoid robots, driverless cars, what else will Tesla use its in-house technological capabilities to produce and disrupt next? Well, a lot of people have been thinking it's drones, and this is actually going to be potentially one of my most controversial episodes ever. I wanted to open it up, see what y'all think about this, because this is a crazy theory that's been gaining steam, and I just kind of want to put it out there and talk about it in the open. Um, you know, Elon and Naval have been talking about this on X about how drones have become the new nukes sort of in warfare. Right now, the status quo of world peace is sort of this mutually assured destruction game of who has nuclear weapons. Um, but that sort of whole, that sort of whole status quo is at risk with drones where now these like swarms of drones are going to be the new way warfare is fought. Especially you're seeing in Ukraine, these tens of millions of dollars of jets are getting struck down by cheap drones. So then you also have Elon saying today that the U.S. is woefully behind China on our drone production. Combine that with the theory of, okay, well, what's Tesla good at? Manufacturing. Uh, manufacturing tech products. Manufacturing things that are lightweight, aerodynamic, can fly, especially if you include SpaceX. So Tesla's manufacturing ability with this idea that Elon's getting involved in politics, we're massively behind on building drones from China. That is one of the most top national security threats in the world. That comes this obvious conclusion of will Tesla or SpaceX launch a drone program? Now, I don't think Elon has commented on this as of the time I'm recording. He does say that he doesn't want to build weapons, though. So I think that's an interesting kind of angle to it. And um, I mean, I want to talk about why drones make sense and it's it's such a fascinating thing because on one hand you have like i think i believe adam uh jonas from morgan stanley has talked about the potential of a tesla drone to not only for military but for freight applications uh like carrying things uh just because of all the you know technology tesla has the electric vehicles its motors its batteries um they are in the perfect place to have be a leading drone manufacturer especially here in the u.s and so but the question is is that a good future? Is that something we want? Like I started investing in Tesla because it was like the clean electric car company. That's what drew me to the, the company is this vision for clean energy and abundance. Um, now we have the robot coming out, um, which seems like a net good for humanity, but also this weird black mirror future where humans are augmented by these robots and fleets of robots ever are doing these tasks. So now that's part of Tesla's vision for the future. And no, no word has happened yet, but I wonder if drones, I don't know. I, I, I personally don't really feel good about Tesla getting into drones because part of me feels like, on one hand, it's like, okay, national security. It's very important that the U.S. stays ahead in military applications. And it's kind of this thing we don't like to discuss about how the military is important to keep us all safe and live this beautiful way of life that we have. But I just, it's just not something fun that I want to think of. Like in my venture company, I've stopped a couple deals because they were military and I didn't want to invest in that. Like my whole theory is invest in the future you believe in. Um, I don't really believe in drone warfare being the future, but I also believe that we will probably need a good drone arsenal to deter any bad actors from attacking us. So I don't know. I'm sort of in this, like, it's just a fascinating position of like Tesla's become so important and Elon is almost changed his like laser focus from building his companies to like kind of making sure America stays competitive and the safety and prosperousness of the West, so to speak, has become Elon's number one priority, it seems. He's talking about this America party. So I don't know where all this goes. I think economically, um, I mean, there's a huge, drones are going to be a huge market, military, consumer, industrial. Tesla has insane technology to be able to pull off a better, cheaper, more efficient, faster, uh, drone than anyone else. Their whole thing about the machine that builds the machine, Elon Musk has said Tesla's best capability is their manufacturing. So that plays right into the U.S.'s need for drones. Uh, you combine that with SpaceX and the way that, I mean, they literally shoot stuff up and land it, autonomous rocket drones. So you got to imagine little drones are in their wheelhouse too. Um, I mean, the expertise, the battery technology, the motor technology, the mass manufacturing technology. I mean, Tesla and SpaceX really are in a unique position to be one of the only things the U.S. companies I could see crushing it at drones, maybe Anduril, but do they have that mass manufacturing capability? Some people have been saying Tesla and Anduril could partner. Could this drone project be launched under another company that wasn't Tesla, but maybe Tesla supplies them with stuff? Um, there's a lot of different ways this could go. Um, but yeah, so on one hand, I like see the massive potential for this new business line for Tesla. And that kind of like, you know, as a Tesla investor, it's like, ooh, there's a new way to make money. But 
I also feel like it's just stepping in a weird direction that I don't really know if I support because once we have Tesla and Elon who are really good at accomplishing stuff, build drones, there's going to be a lot of deadly drones out there. And if someone else, and Elon doesn't even control Tesla. So if he gets kicked out of Tesla, then who controls this army of the most powerful technology on earth? So I think it's just super fascinating to see. And it's kind of like my weird dark sci-fi side of my brain of like, where's this crazy future drone war? Like we have Naval and Elon, two of the, you know, thought leaders of the tech, you know, America West world here are saying, this is a huge issue. We need to ramp up our drone manufacturing like a thousand X. And so who's going to do it or what's going to happen if we don't do it? Is China just drone swarm us and take over? Like, I don't think so, but it seems like that's what people are implying. So, um, what is your take on this? Do you think Tesla will get into drones? Do you think they should get into drones? How does that make you feel about the company? Um, I'm just really curious. I want to start the conversation. Um, I personally am I, I think my gut instinct would be like, I, I, I want to just say the easy answer, which is like, don't build drones, duh. Like, let's focus on electric cars and bots. But the flip side of that is like, if that means that the US military becomes irrelevant and everything we know about America and protecting our democracy and like safety as a nation um, goes down the tubes and the world spirals into chaos, if we don't have a drone army, then it's like, well, maybe I do want Elon to build a drone army. So, I don't know. It's scary and weird, and I probably don't want to think about it too much, but I am scheming on it now. And it's interesting to think about for Tesla stock, um, especially in that, like, it's just weird that when you think about, like, different industries for them to disrupt next, um, this one is just sitting there so obvious, drones. So, we'll see if they do it or not. Let me know what you think. This is Hyperchange. Peace.